Mixcraft 7 allows for new, exciting ways of recording your music. So you can play these different clips and rearrange them however you'd like and then record them later on to make your actual song. I'm going to load an existing song that I already made using these clips. So here's the song loaded and it's over here in the track area. I can resize this performance panel or I can just hide it. I can zoom in and I recorded this from the performance panel. So let's try mixing and matching these pieces. One thing is triggering them. You can trigger them with a launch pad uh, or you could assign notes or even computer keyboard notes to these clips. Okay. So I click the MIDI learn button and I can go in and I can click on a part and assign it to either a MIDI key or a computer key. Let's assign this to A. Let's assign this to S. Let's assign this to Z. All right. Now we can mix and match these. I press C, and the glass viper up there, this clip will start playing. It's in four bar in increments. Here it goes. I'm going to press one. So how do I record these little parts? We record the parts and then we cut them up and we add them as new parts to trigger. So here's how I do that. Okay, so I've got a part picked out that I'm going to record on this channel one. I'm going to arm it. It's a MIDI part. Here's how it sounds. All right, well, let's record a part. Okay, so there's a lot there, there's a lot of data there, and how do we use it? Okay, so we're going to go to the first uh, eight bars, uh, from measure 5 to measure 13. Um, this is what this sounds like. So it's kind of a jazzy thing. I'm going to go into measure 13, and I'm going to split which I can do by either hitting control T or I can hit control alt and it turns into scissors. I'm going to hit trim by clicking this when it's on the scissors and then I'm going to hit trim here 
boom, I've got a new clip. I'm actually going to right click on it and say mix to new clip. Okay, so now I can, I'm going to drag it in over here to the performance panel. And now I'm going to go to another section, um, measure 69. I'm going to hit control alt and the scissors. And I'm going to go another eight bars down to measure 73. I'm going to hit control alt and it becomes scissors. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag that in and this is what this sounds like. Let's try performing with these new parts. All right, here we go. Here we go. you can do okay so let's say you've made all these parts you've had fun playing them together and now you're ready to record a song okay so let's record your song in by feeling it. You get the idea. Um, you can even record a part at the same time that you're triggering clips. Um, but you have your whole song here, and now you can record vocals. You could record. You could record live instruments as loops too. You can record live instruments over it. It's up to you. But I think it's a really creative way of of building up your song in these slots, these performance slots. And then when you're ready to actually put the song down, when you've got your ideas in there, you can record them. And then you can record them a different way the next time and record them a different way. And it's almost like practicing your song. And it's a lot of fun. So that's the tip. And I uh, hope you've learned a lot and give it a try. Thanks for watching.